bring you live visuals from Rosettenville. That's an active scene. At least five suspected robbers have been shot dead. We're still waiting for official confirmation by police, but we believe that they were in a shootout with police. Two officers, Sally, have been airlifted to hospital. Yeah, absolutely. We're not sure exactly the motive. What we do know um, is that there was some sort of either hostage or hijack situation quite close uh, to the hospital in that area. Uh, and then a massive shootout ensued. Uh, you know, residents have been quoted as saying that it was extraordinary, uh, a really heavy gunfire happening in this suburban area of Rosettenville, south of Johannesburg. Um, we are awaiting details from the police minister. He is due to speak to the media probably sometime after seven. We'll take that live. Also, we're going to be speaking, Shahan, to Sean Herbst of Netcare, because as you were saying, there were two helicopters circling in the area, um, airlifting uh, people to hospital, and we just want to know all about that as well. So there's a lot of unanswered questions, yes. but certainly, um, you know, you can see just from uh, that car, you can see the bullet holes in that car. So could it have been a hostage situation or could it actually have been a hijacking? It looks at this stage uh, that it may well be uh, a hijacking situation, some form purely speculative at this stage, uh, because it's very much unfolding in real time. I mean, we were getting reports of shootings uh, less than an hour ago. Yeah. Uh, it does seem, obviously, that the situation has calmed now, otherwise we certainly wouldn't see, um, you know, this level of, of containment. But, um, yeah, there are a lot of questions about exactly what happened uh, and how uh, it took place. That is, of course, in Rosettenville, which is south of Johannesburg. Yeah. So there's some information and we're getting tidbits uh, along the uh, past couple of hours or so about what could have happened and some information, a rumor coming through actually that it could have been a failed cash and transit heist um, and mm. this is basically one of the scenarios or possibilities that we're hearing about as we await for the police minister to get a briefing from the officers on the ground and then for him to come out and give the media an address. He has confirmed uh, that he will speak to the media once he gets all of the information that he does need. And uh, Sally, it's important to point out that, you know, while we await information, mm. uh, we're getting different reports about the number of people who uh, could have been killed here. We can see at least five people yeah. confirmed dead right now. Yeah, we're saying nine suspected hijackers killed. Uh, let's be clear, we have got confirmation of at least five. We're not 100% sure if they were hijackers or hostage takers or, as you say, uh, the latest uh, rumour coming through is that they could have been uh, operating as cash in transit. We simply don't know at this stage, but one thing is for sure, Rosettenville is quite shaken uh, this afternoon and a number of people have died and are wounded as well. So we're going to keep an eye on that developing story and we will cross to the police minister as soon as he makes his address.